and also give you the strength uh, you know, to move forward and the ability to be able to uh, to walk away uh, from the pain of your life. Because I know it's not it's not easy. I went through that as well. It's not easy. It's not easy when you feel so betrayed by the person that you love the best. I mean, it means the whole thing to you. But when you're betrayed, it's not as easy as that, okay, you know, I didn't mean it, or I did it. Or I didn't know that that was, you know, making that impact in your life. Uh, with just that simple explanation, then they expect you to turn it around and to forgive them automatically. Yeah, it's easy maybe just to keep the conversation, you know, like maintain that relationship and keep sanity in the house they said okay i've forgiven you but the heart is still paining and you're still hurting and on that note you need to come before god and I'll, I'll ask you again today how bad do you want your marriage to work and how bad do you want to keep your marriage uh, how bad do you love your 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 spouse and also your children and the Wukeiko, um, if I call Kotiki, come on the Kavakin and Donaka. But let the Kavakaiko already given up. You've already yeah, given so up. Uh, that's it. Uh, already yeah, you've already given up. So, uh, no use, uh, re you know, reading the Bible, or no use uh, us talking to you today, and no use you logging in, uh, because you've already made up your mind, right. and you've already given up your relationship, you've already given up uh, on your spouse. It's how like, bad? How yeah. Bad you want? So, you need to challenge yourself and ask yourself that question: How bad? How bad, how bad do you want it? Um, it could be a Maroya, or you, would you like to give it another chance? No, uh, would you like to, you know, uh, redo again. and start again? And I know, um, you know. Maybe too late for some of us, and uh, you know, over the years, and uh, yeah, we, we, we are we are not we are not uh, saying that every every marriage is uh, perfect. perfect. Yeah. No, uh, every marriage has got its own um, its own issues. And um, yeah, no matter how good it looks, no matter how happy they look, and no matter how um, you know how holy holy maybe they look in the church, but marriage is marriage. It's got its ups and downs. It's got its uh, moments of joy and um, moments of everything else, uh, differences. And uh, the powerful thing about it, it depends on you. If you really want it so badly uh, to work, then you need to yes. rise above it and say to yourself, I need to give it a go. Uh, because because you continue want to uh, hit back. You want to make them suffer or make her suffer or make him yes. suffer for making you suffer. And uh, and sometimes, can the way you know the so me, send the video to me, do not cover the video, me have a castle and a mossy, call up the room. And then the years have gone by, the months have gone by, and then you look back, why did I just waste five years of having, you know, feeling that remorse uh, in trying to pay back uh, for the things done, you know, to you? I know you have every right to think that, uh, because betrayal is a betrayal, and it's most painful when you're being betrayed by the person you love, and also, Kivakaiko uh, innocently, you know, um, and then you trust them. Because the Kabatu Ganita, and then you go Suliki the Kinanamundina, Suliki the Kinanamongona, Suliki no Miao, Mokongelia the Muri, Okay, Bangataki Kusaratunga, for to benefit him or to benefit her, uh, just using you uh, for their own benefit. That's painful. That's painful. And that betrayal. Oh, it takes a while. It takes a while to go. But, uh, and, and that is you. I mean, if you listen to us today and you happen to fit into this category, and I don't know whether you do are still together or you just decide to walk away and leave your husband because you can't seem to agree on anything, or leave your wife and let her go and do whatever that she wants to do because you get so tired of telling her off or taking, you know, uh, time to talk to her to try and fix your marriage. And one way or the other, most of you, or some of you may have, uh, given up on your marriage, but we would like to encourage you today. You know, there is a hope in Jesus, and I believe, or we believe, that marriage is ordained by God to benefit yes. not only you as a couple, to benefit your children. Yeah. And because at the end of the day, you know, because you've reached the highest. And the kind of money that you have made, the wealth that you have begun to develop, uh, and then you look around and said, well, I'm still not married. Am I over 40 or am I over 50? I'm still not married. I don't have any children. So, but for what? And then when you move on or when you pass on, then that that you have worked your life for and uh, committed and dedicated your life for are uh, to leave it for who? So as a couple, you ask yourself that if you have your children and if you have to go with